Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I forgot to do an intro for the video that's coming up. So I'm not gonna look anything like this, but I wanted to introduce myself and tell you what I was doing. What am I doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to doing the TikTok videos that I forget that I need to do that. I'm gonna test out the new formula for the Dior Face and Body. I love the Dior Face and Body. I own many colors, and I was so disappointed to hear that they changed the formulation on it. I did go into Sephora and ask them what had changed, and they said it's a more hydrating formulation and it's clean. This foundation is made in France. It's water and heat resistant. It gives a skin-like finish, and it's buildable. So I'm gonna show you how it applies. I do a full face of makeup in this video, and I remember to do a check-in at the end of the night so you'll see how it wears. By the way, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie. I'm a 51-year-old professional makeup artist, licensed hairstylist, and I'm dipping into fashion as well. So you'll see a variety of content. My whole purpose is to hopefully help you feel good, and I hope to gain a community of women that just want to grow old together, talk about the issues that we may be having, be real, and yeah, that's what I'm here for. So I hope you stick with me. If you do like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave and the notification bell. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Comment below. I like to get to know you guys. Yeah, and if you're wondering about this makeup look, I did just film it. I'm gonna edit and I'll have this up soon. All right, let's get going. I have the new Dior Backstage Foundation. This is the Face and Body Foundation. I already tried it the other day and I have formed a little bit of an opinion, but I wanted to try it out with different prep. So today I went really light with my skincare. I did a vitamin C serum, used my Tatcha serum, and I moisturized and prepped with the Rich. It's a primer serum. I actually feel like this is more of a moisturizer for me, at least in the summertime anyway. So I decided to only use this instead of a moisturizer. And I'm gonna try it again. I feel like really light because I haven't self tan in a while. I'm really trying to focus on my skincare for my body. So I've been using retinol products and AHA products and that really takes the tan off quickly. Enough talking. Ooh, is this the right color? Yeah, this is 2N. That actually might be too dark too. Hmm. No, that's okay. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 101 brush. It is my favorite foundation brush, and I'm gonna lightly spread it everywhere. Yeah, my skin looks like skin. It blends my hyperpigmentation, doesn't cover it all the way, but that's okay. Let, let me put a little bit right here. Let's see if that tones down the redness. It's very, very pretty. I suspect that it won't stick around my nose very well because I'm blowing it all the time anyway, it's allergy season. And if I put my glasses on, it kind of touches right here. So that's what I'm expecting. It's normal that I'd have to touch that up, but the rest of it, I want this to all look nice and smooth as it does now. The other thing I have to try today is a Clarins concealer. Let me get that. So this is the Everlasting Concealer. So we'll see about this one. I chose the color two, I believe. Oh no, I chose the color one. I have my Free People outfit on, by the way. I feel like I have my pajamas on and I'm comfortable. Oh, this might be too light. Whoa, that's light. Okay, let me spread that out. And I just take the tip of my brush and go underneath where I'm violet. Before it sets, I'm gonna pounce it in with my finger I go through these times where I don't self tan and I know that it really sends the wrong message to my girls. Like I should be okay with my fair skin. It's those insecurities that keep creeping back to me. I think I said this in another video too. If I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. I'm actually gonna use this very thinly on my eyelid because it kind of just feels like that. It feels like it could be an eye primer and it canceled out all the violet in my skin. Whoop, that's too much. And often when I do my makeup, especially on video, I'll have this all tanned, and of course it comes off the fastest on your hands, or on my hands. So I'll lift my hand up to do my makeup on my face, and it's so white compared to my self-tan. It looks so silly. I'm gonna be looking back at this years from now and going, what were you thinking? I think a lot of us are gonna do that, actually. The new generation is so much more I don't know, at least my kids have shown such a restraint when it comes to vanity. Like they're beautiful and they like to play with stuff, but they know that they don't need it. And I love that. That looks better, <laughs> a little more presentable. 
Okay, so I picked this up. This is the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. I didn't know what to get. I think I actually got light to medium. I don't know if that was the wisest decision. That would look better if I were self-tanned, probably. Let's see. Oh no, that's gonna be okay. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty A507 brush. I don't want it too stiff and I don't want it too fluffy. Start tapping it on and let's see what happens. I saw that this got really good reviews. It says it's waterproof, which should help the wear of this foundation actually. My sister-in-law is teaching me how to cook tofu today. I'm actually excited because my daughter's vegan. She doesn't even eat eggs or cheese or anything. My sister-in-law and my brother-in-law are vegan. They're, I think they're vegetarian. So they do eat cheese and I don't know if they eat eggs or not. You should see my brother-in-law. He looks like Captain America. He's, he's built like Captain America. He, so is my sister-in-law. She's a tiny little thing, but she has such big muscles. I'm liking this whole thing so far. Yeah, I got the light medium. I just confirmed. I can't believe I saw that without my glasses. Now I have the Ellie J palette. This is the Smoke and Leather. I used this on a TikTok live the other day. I wanna give it a better shot because I was outside and I was just playing around. Now I'm in front of the lights and I have all my brushes. So I wanna give it a go. I'm gonna dip into this one right here, which is Saddle. I'm not gonna go too crazy because we are really just hanging out and relaxing. So focusing on the crease. This is a BK Beauty 201. I wanna have a nice blend and that's what I'm getting, a very nice blend. I'm gonna use this palette a few more times using the cool tones. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna pull it down right on my lid. And remember, I have the concealer there already. I'm gonna use grain and I'm gonna put it right in the crease. With a smaller brush, this one is a 211. And again, pulling it down on the outer corner, outer corner, outer half, back to my fluffy brush, making sure it's all blended. Okay, easy to blend guys, which I love. BK Beauty 209, so this is a nice smudge brush, you see? And I'm gonna dip into grain again and go underneath. You'll see me do this in all of my videos. I typically use a shadow for my liner. It's always soft, it's easy to do. It creates a nice cohesive look. I'm gonna use Dusty Rose, and I think I'm just gonna go in with my finger and pop that on the inner corner, inner half. So I said this in my live, and I'm gonna say it again. I haven't had any issues with fallout with this palette, which is so nice, especially when you're in a hurry and you just don't have time to be cleaning up. I also picked up the Milani Eyebrow Pencil. This color is in Neutral Taupe. I haven't used it. I typically like a pencil that's a finer tip and not very creamy. I like a drier pencil. Most of the time I've been using brow powder actually. What ends up happening if it's creamy is it sticks to my hair. I don't know if you can see like right there, it's stuck to my hair right in there a little bit as well. I'm not too worried about it because I'm gonna take the comb and comb through. Oh, and that took it right off there. So I'll go in again. <laughs> Oh, I have a feeling this isn't gonna be my favorite product. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute while I do the other eye and maybe it will set so it won't lift when I comb it. Can you see how it's stuck? Right there, it's kind of gooping. And I'm going backwards just to make sure to get it on my skin and not on my hair. Yeah, it's waxy. My hair here is sticking to my skin. Okay, I'm gonna just let it set and not play around with it. Let me go on to my lips. This is Whirl from MAC. My sister-in-law's here, hold on. And my brother-in-law, I won't forget about him. Uh, okay, Whirl, let's go. Dogs, and I'm gonna use a lip gloss that I don't even know if it exists anymore. This is by Buxom and it is called Full On Plumping Lip Cream in Vanilla Bean. Okay, hopefully I can find this for you. I love this one. Yeah. Let's see if my theory worked. If I let it sit, will it stay? Uh, no. That is a no 
for the brow. By the way, this is the LA Girl taupe or, or light brown. All right, let me finish my mascara and get yeah. some blush on here. I showed you guys the lash curler from Refer and I like this better. And I like what other ones? Lancome, Shiseido, not necessarily for the shape for my eye, but the metal is so much nicer. Look what happens with my hourglass thing. So there's a stopper and it keeps getting stuck. So I have to kind of twist it hard and hope that it catches. Yeah, otherwise I'll, too much product comes out. Super annoying. But I love this mascara. Ah, see? Weird. That's the weirdest thing. But I know I can get it. Shouldn't happen though, it's a malfunction. It used to be my favorite. It still is one of my favorites. I also tried a lash serum that I do not like. I've tested it out fully. Olaplex Lash Serum, I don't like it. It makes you apply it twice a day rather than before you go to bed. It just didn't work. It didn't work at all. So I'm in the market for a new lash serum. Look at what I'm doing. I'm getting it all over my lid. I'm not liking that mascara. I think it might just be dry because it's old. Let me go to my Milani mascara. See if I can get these puppies longer looking. Yep. I just needed more product. This is the highly rated anti-gravity mascara. Really, really nice. My youngest told me to get this and I agree. It's good. I think with this look, I am gonna use Pomelo Peach by House Labs. And then I will use a little bit of a highlight because this is all matte and I'm used to having a little bit more shine. And I guess I'll be wearing my hair up today. <laughs> I'm not blow drying my hair. I've been wearing it up a lot, actually. Me too, with this 55 degree weather. Mm -hmm. Love these blushes. If you haven't tried them, they're so pretty. This is um, Bobbi Brown Quartz Glow. It gives a beautiful, soft shimmer and still looks like skin. I'm gonna go visit with my family and I will check back before I go to bed and we'll check on this foundation and the concealer. Is there anything else? No, those are the two main things. I'll be back. Hey guys, I have no idea what time it is. So let's check to see what this makeup looks like. I did have my glasses on and as expected, it's worn off a little bit right here. It can't be helped. Makeup is not gonna last too long in that area. Looking at my skin, it actually looks pretty good. My eye makeup stayed, no creasing in my eye makeup. My brows, <laughs> that's another story. Definitely have some holes there. I was not a fan of that brow product at all. No creasing. I did have to blow my nose a little bit, so it's expected that I would be right around there. My bronzer looks good. See, you can't judge too fast, right? So I definitely notice a difference with how I prep my skin. My skin feels good. It doesn't feel dry or dehydrated. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Thank you so much for being here. If you've stayed with me for this long, I really appreciate it. Hit the like button before you go. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. All the products I use will be listed in the description box. When you use my links, it does help me and gives me a small commission, which is so helpful for me. Thank you if you do do that, but no pressure. And I hope this helps and I'll see you later. Bye.